Welcome back to Boom Shot. I'm Kale. This is Colby. Uh, in our last video, we ranked half of the MCU heroes on a tier list. This video will be a continuation of that ranking. And in similar fashion to into the villains video, we will be revealing who we think will win in a fight between Thor and Captain Marvel. So uh, watch till the end for that one, and let's jump right into it. Boom. You looking for this? So next up on, or actually to resume the last part of the video, we have Iron Man. Man, who started it all. Yeah. And only got better. And really, it, every single suit, if you notice, he's improved something else. Like even from Mark 50 and Infinity War to Mark 85, he stopped using nanobots as uh, as like protection and weapons. Instead, he uses and he uses like um, force like force fields yeah. and stuff like that. So it was kind of it was kind of inter interesting to see. I mean, he, he constantly upgrading. Yeah, games. I mean, yeah, and it's actually been confirmed that the nanobot suit can stop Vision from phasing through his suit. So that that's another thing. Ant Man can't get inside a suit. And he can I mean he can time travel really. Yeah, he figured out time travel. Exactly. So uh, really. In Mark 85, Iron Man is he's A tier. I mean, he's S tier. S tier, yeah. He, easily. Sure. And I, w I would like to think that he could find a way to beat Captain Marvel just out of nature, but um, he we haven't it. seen that, so he definitely is above yeah, Captain Marvel. Yeah, he would take Cap, yeah. Uh, and I think that's a good spot for him. Yeah. I, mean, I don't feel like most people wouldn't even put him S tier, just but I think he's oh, a an S tier. Yeah, he's very, very strong. I, I don't know how people could, I don't know how you could put him at S tier, really. Um, next up we have Mantis D tier. <laughs> Alright, next up we have Nick Fury. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, Mantis If you gave her the chance, I mean she she stopped ego there for a while. She did, but you gotta she she only works good with a team though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, she would I mean she would get by herself she would get smacked. Yeah, she would get pummeled by everybody else probably. Yeah, and that scene in Endgame where she just randomly pops up with all the rest of the the female here is like like Mantis is gonna do anything. So uh no. Mantis is a D tier and we're not even talking about it. Alright, Nick Fury uh, there was an idea. <laughs> there, there was an idea, dude. There I, was an idea. I do tend to. Uh, he would, he would beat Mantis. Mantis yeah. wouldn't be able to touch him. Yeah, but I mean, Drax, Black Widow, I mean, they would take him. Yeah, that's true. So I think, yeah, Fury's low, low key or low deep. He high deep too. My bad. <laughs> I just had a brain fart. All right, next up we have Quicksilver. Got Loki on the mind. <laughs> yeah, I, I Loki. Do, I do have Loki on my mind. Uh, I think we got. Uh, where do you put Quicksilver? He didn't see that. You, you couldn't see that coming, dude. Yeah, I really you can't see his head. Dude. Yeah, you really I, can't see his head. I, I love you, quick. So the men's quick. Say talk, I. Um, uh, I think he, he's definitely mm -hmm. a tier. I oh. think, and he would deal. He would deal with both of them. I think. Yeah. yeah. He would deal with both of them. Pretty yeah, easily. Just mean, I mean, we saw what he did to those. Him. We saw what he did to those Ultron bots in. Uh, in Age of Ultron, and I mean, you, you, he can actually slow down time because it showed the frame like slowed down. He was just like ripping apart. So yeah, I think he's up there. Uh, he couldn't really do much to Hulk, I yeah. don't think. So if Hulk ever landed one punch on him, yeah, considering how fast he's moving, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's that, would, that would be an ugly side, dude. That would be even uglier than what happened to him in Age of Ultron. Rest in peace. Um, next up we have Rocket Raccoon D two. Um, <laughs> I do Rocket Raccoon is actually he's a very technologically advanced panda rabbit i mean he has a plethora of nicknames i think uh, he's smart very intelligent but i mean he's just not really that powerful he does have some pretty nice weapons though considering and he's, got, he's got an eyeball uh what else does he have in his arsenal he's got an eyeball or no he gave it a thor yeah he had the eyeball and the what do you take from the other dude in guardians one i don't know i think he took his arm or something yeah no he, he told bucky he was gonna get his arm oh that's right yeah. if, if he got that arm i mean we, we'd be seeing an s tier rocket raccoon i think i think we put him i mean his, his weaponry you yeah. think he would take nick fury i mean that yeah, yeah i think he could he's got a jetpack too so i mean he, he does have some tech that yeah. that could potentially help him take out the fury. evade fury yeah I mean, yeah I mean, he did take a bunch of the uh, in Guardians too when when he set all those traps. Yeah, that is true. And he did that was that was a cool scene. A bunch of the what what do they call them? Um, Yondu's crew. I forget yeah. their name, but um, you get the point. Uh, next up we have Wanda. Yeah, um, there's no doubt. Yeah, yeah, Wanda. She's right below Strange. Yeah, and we're gonna see more of that. Uh, those two in multiverse. Oh Madness, yeah, and that's gonna be an interesting. I I really we'll see, see I hesitate to even them. put Strange above her. Honestly, we'll see it, more about it in that movie. Yeah, but I think right now Strange Time Stone. Yes, yeah, Time Stone. Yeah, because her her powers are derived from the Mind Stone. It, at least for now, I don't think they've that. She's basically like 
a reality stone. Yeah, she is. From what we saw in WandaVision. And she has mind stone manipulation. So she's got she's got a very good power kid. I think she easily beats Captain Marvel. Not even uh, not even a competition. Like, she easily beats all three of them. Or yeah. all three of them. What I meant to say was yeah, she basically has the, the power of the reality stone. Yeah. From what we saw in WandaVision. Exactly. So. Yeah, she, yeah, exactly. So next up we have Peter Parker, my boy. Fan Tom, favorite. Yeah, he is a fan favorite. Um, I, I I'd say he's A tier. From what he's we strong. saw at the end of Far From Home, he was very in tune with his spider sense. He he finally yeah. got past this whole Iron Man thing. He does have the Iron Spider suit, so he does have yeah. a nanotech suit. I, see, I think he's gonna keep getting better too. Exactly. So yeah, and I so. think honestly, just because of Spider Sense he could deal with uh That's the thing, yeah. yeah. See nobody else really has I mean spider sense. Pre- yeah, like, like, like to a deal with Quicksilver. Exactly. So I think he yeah, I think we put him at high A tier, right below Hulk, because if Hulk got I mean, we say if Hulk got one hit on him, but he did. He, he can take a couple hits because he's got some durability. But and it would be hard for Hulk to hit him. But I mean, yeah, we just have to assume that you know, get, like if all things were can at the end of the fight, Hulk would win. Um, next up we got this is an interesting one. We got Star Lord. Now this is not Star Lord that you see in Endgame or Infinity War, but this is actually Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two with the light. So right. the best he could do, as you've pointed out once before, is Pac-Man. But uh, we we do see with the light, I mean, he could create planets. And he got pretty good with it, even though he did create Pac-Man. Yeah. And then Pac-Man did pretty good. And Pac-Man and Pac-Man did go toe to toe with Ego. So and <laughs> he does have some immor- or, or immortality, pretty much almost, yeah. is what Ego was kind of explained to him. He can hold the Power Stone for a while. So that I mean that power stone just corrupts pretty much. It's, so I think I think he's definitely up there. And he's a, what do you think? He's an S tier. I'd say he's an S tier, and he could. I don't think I don't think he could take Iron Man, but probably Cap. Yeah, I think he could take uh, Iron Man's just got with with the nanotech suit. Iron Man can do way too much, and yeah. and since he's not that familiar with the light, uh, he could take Cap, but he couldn't take any of them other. Did it? No, no, no. Now if he was experienced with it, then we might would be a different story, but. I don't think so, right? Not right now. And that's that's the only peak we saw of him because he lost those yeah, powers. Exactly, when, when the, yeah, exactly. Because yeah, when he killed Ego, or when Ego died. Um, and then now we got Thor. Now this is Thor from Infinity War with Stormbreaker. Uh, oh, dude. Oh, I love I love Thor from Infinity. Yeah, War. Yeah, Ragnarok and Infinity War. Ragnarok what they did to him in Endgame is a, is a whole travesty. Like I I can't believe they did that. But uh, this Thor jumps right above Definitely Captain Marvel. Is. Jumps right above her. And that's going to be something we talk about at the end. Yeah. Is, is the... I would love to talk about that fight. I, there's, <laughs> I could rant about this, dude. It, right. It's just unconscionable. Uh, Thor, do we even really need to talk about it? Everybody saw it with their own two eyes. But, oh, when he, unless when you're he, Nick Fury and you have one. But <laughs> when he... When he, um, when he entered... With, are, he, he, he held a star open and took it for like, what, like, I guess like a couple minutes maybe? Oh, that was sick. And that, that was that one of the coolest scenes. And then, and then right after that, lands in Wakanda and just wipes out all of the Outriders. Yeah. And every, everybody but Thor. I mean, Nick Fury and Thor himself because he had one eye. Yeah, that but, is true. But, but I guess that he had that other one Rocket gave him. Yeah, if, if it works. I mean, <laughs> we, we claim or we think anyway. Uh, Valkyrie? She's pretty strong. We haven't seen she's got, too much I, of her yet. Yeah, we haven't seen her peak really yet. No. Mm-mm. So, too much, but but she does have Asgard yeah, physiology. She's, she, she's a very strong character, and I think, I mean, do you put her above Spider Man? Really? I I don't I don't know. Just uh, Spider Man is just it, with the with Spider Sense, and, and he's, he's a strong hero. And his tech that yeah. Iron Man made for him. Yeah. So and I and I don't think she would be Quicksilver either. Yeah. Just, and you think she would be Black Panther? Yeah. That's an interesting one. I feel like they're right about. I feel like they're equal. It could, that could be interchangeable. We'll leave it right yeah. like this for now, but I, I think that could be interchangeable. And then we have Vision. Now this is Vision from I guess Civil War was the last movie where we saw him at his peak capability. Yeah, Infinity War got nerfed right at the beginning. Yeah, stupid, absolutely dumb. But he can, okay, so he's got phase shift. He's made out of vibranium. Okay, so he's he got can, the Mind Stone. Yeah, he's got the Mind Stone. Uh, he's a, a basically a machine, so he's constantly learning, constantly adapting. We even see the point in Infinity War where he can take on a human form to disguise himself. And we know for sure Wanda can take him. And that yeah. wasn't even really peak Wanda. No, that wasn't. And so we have to assume because of his face shift that Thor really couldn't get a hit on him. Mm. So, yeah, I, we, we just have to assume that. We didn't see – we we never saw Thor versus Thanos and because Thor wasn't in Civil War. 
Or Thor versus Thor, Vision. Vision I, don't know, I don't know why I said that. We did see Thor versus Thanos. Yeah, and yeah, we <laughs> should have gone for the head. But uh, I don't think Thor would beat Vision because of the phase shift and the vibrating capabilities. So yeah, I think that's a good spot. Yeah, for Vision because we, we know one would be. Uh, yeah. And so next up we have uh, War Machine. Yeah, War Machine. Yeah, I mean he's he's definitely strong. He's a B tier. He's got uh, he's got Stark Tech on his side. Um, I think he handles everybody in C tier pretty handily. And I think he would take Gamora. You think he could take more? Yeah, I think. I he think so, it. but Ant Man, as we saw in Civil War, could get inside the suit yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, and we his suit is not nanotech from what we've seen, so yeah. Um, then finally we have Wasp. And we, I mean, we kind of know yeah, she's kind of the same as. She's Ant-Man. got lasers, a lot more fighting experience. Um. Other than that, like. But I feel like Ant Man's really creative. Yeah. Like, with his fighting exactly, yeah. and things. Exactly. Yeah, I, I agree with that too. And Ant-Man actually, I mean, we, most people forget he does have control of ants too. So yeah, like, that's true. Yeah. So he's got he's got armies at his side, kind of. Um, and that kind of concludes our. I don't think we can really. I don't think we really need to shift anything. I think that's a good. List. I I think that's a good list too. A lot of a lot of very strong heroes, which is which makes sense because they're all at their peak. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so I've, finally to end the video, as we promised in the in the uh title of the video in the intro yeah yeah who would win versus then thor, or uh, thor, thor and captain marvel thor and captain marvel we saw i feel like a lot of fans want to know the answer to this and want to see it yeah i mean because i've heard people and this is maybe absolutely mad i've heard people say that captain marvel would smoke thor and i happen to disagree i think thor i mean you saw thor in infinity war and ragnarok i mean thor right. was thor was destroying right. hulk Right. Destroying Hulk. And her powers, yes, are derived from the uh, space storm. And she wasn't there in Infinity War. She was there when, when uh, as Rocket said, like ice cream melted Thor. Yeah, exactly. That's the Thor she, she saw. So. Yeah, I mean, and really an honest. Which I guess you did see him at the very beginning, but not really fight. Yeah, Except not. For taking his, uh, Thanos' his head off. I wish he would have. I wish he would have chopped her head off whenever he called <laughs> Stormbreaker to him. But I, I just think Thor. He's an Asgardian. Okay. She. Yeah, she's Kree. Whatever. Who cares. Um, he's an Asgardian. He's lived for fifteen hundred plus years. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. He's uh, fought twice as many enemies as that as he's claimed, and he's got he's the god of thunder or lightning, I guess. And he's got the most powerful weapon other than the Infinity Gauntlet in the MCU. Yeah. So really and honestly, I mean, what are what are her Stormbreaker powers? Stormbreaker is very very. Powerful. She's got high energy projection. She can. Move, we we assume that she can go into like I guess travel faster than light, but I assume that yeah. Thor can too. What's it called like astral form or something? Yeah. She, has? she has astral form. I could be wrong. No, that's what Doctor Strange. In oh movie. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking of something else. I don't know what I don't know what she I don't has. know what you call it. Yeah. It's called something like when she when she uh the form of light that she takes. Oh yeah yeah yeah. What's photon like, form. Photon, is, yeah, like, form photon yeah. energy. Yeah. Astro astro forms yeah Doctor Strange. Yeah, that's but that's either way, she's form. really powerful as much as I hate to say it, but I do think Thor handles her relatively easy. She does have a like a, a I guess a force field we see it versus Thanos, but then Thanos grabbed the power stone and punched her. <laughs> Best scene of in game by <laughs> by far. Um, so what do you think? I. It's a close one, and it's one. I know fans would love to see it. I feel like. Oh, I would love to see it. Put I it mean, in what if, please. Like. I seriously. mean, it could still happen in the the regular MCU. Yeah. I don't know how they would make it happen. Yeah. But what if would be cool to see it there too. Mhm. But it would also be cool to see Chris Hemsworth versus um, Brie Larson. Yeah. Oh, like not like in real life. We, we but, saw in interviews that she like she kept on dissing Thor, dude. That that, yeah. that was oh, the last that's straw. True, yeah. That was the last straw, dude. Not in real life, obviously. Chris Hemsworth and Brie Larson, but like yeah. their their characters in the MCU. Yeah, uh, it would Captain be cool Marvel. to see. It would be cool to see. I would love to see that. But I think Thor, just from what we've seen in Ragnarok, in and Infinity, in, in Infinity, Infinity War, War, not in game, but Infinity War, he was a beast, an absolute War. monster. He flew through a ship too, so you can't say that she did. She flew through Thanos' ship, but he flew through all those like spire things that were letting. I don't know. They Thor, both did. And he he actually could have killed Thanos too. It, I mean, he did. I mean, he did. Yeah, he did kill but, Thanos, but <laughs> he, like could have killed him in Infinity War. You know, we, he she, may have. 
she held his like i've seen theories where he may have killed thanos there yeah and that's when he had all the stones yeah so and then thanos just like resurrected himself and, and we see how powerful stormbreaker really was because uh thanos was using all six stones as like kind of an energy oh, it just went right there. and it went it went straight through so yeah thor's uh, thor easily wins I'm, I'm sorry sorry captain actually no i'm not sorry because yeah stormbreaker could, could really just pierce anything but yeah i mean if it's going through the infinity gauntlet yeah and Thanos, yeah. the Mad Titan himself, yeah. yeah if he lands a hit with Stormbreaker, <laughs> should have chopped off her head in the end game. Uh, well, I think that pretty much wraps it up. I think we got a good tier list here. Uh, I don't, I don't have any disagreements. Doctor Strange would beat everybody on this list. Hulk would beat everybody on this list. Ant Man. I mean, I think we got, yeah, a, I think we got a, yeah. yeah, I think we got a good list here. Um, well, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, thanks you guys for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.